this fire since the election. Uh, this is the morning after, written on November 9th. What hath we brought upon ourselves? The world has tilted backward, I think. Or maybe, maybe it is like the bow in the hands of a winsome god, pulled all the way back, string straining for release, arrow holding its breath. Will the bow break? Or will the arrow speed clear to some distant target only the capricious deity sees? <laughs> Mind the gap. Mind the gap. American voters have spoken. Well, actually, the Electoral College has spoken. A campaign run on anger, bigotry, sexism, fear, and loathing of the other. How you gonna bridge that gap now, huh? How you gonna bridge that gap? Many Americans say they voted for change. Really? What's so different about a bunch of conservative old white guys running our country? How you gonna bridge that gap now, huh? How you gonna bridge that gap? Hornets' nests of hatred gleefully poked, all for the sake of winning. How you gonna douse that flame, the one you stoked? How you gonna bridge that gap? World stock markets shuddered briefly at the prospect of the most unpredictable American leader since possibly ever. Then they righted themselves. After all, the 99% just voted to keep the 1% unbridled, bullishly on America. How you gonna bridge that gap now, huh? How you gonna bridge that gap? Soon the great Cheeto will ascend to rule over the biggest country in the free world. He whose pudgy fingers cannot resist tweeting nasty barbs at his naysayers in dark hours will sit at the helm of our nuclear arsenal. <gasps> twitch, twitch, Putin. You may regret your leaky faucets. Do you think you just paved the way for Russia to put a stranglehold on the melting Arctic? Ah, but are you really the biggest bully on the tundra? How you gonna bridge that gap now, huh? How you gonna bridge that gap? It's one thing to have seen, to have men like the Donald running small Southeast Asian countries. Quite another for a superpower to be led by a reflexive hothead. Twitch, twitch, China. There goes your most favored nation status. On the other hand, all you need do is call in all your loans to the good old U.S. of A. Even if we are your biggest customers. How you gonna douse that fire, the one you stoked? How you gonna bridge that gap? How you gonna bridge that gap now, huh? How you gonna bridge that gap? How you gonna... How are we going to bridge this gap? This is out of the closet. Come out, come out wherever you are. The swastika has come out of America's closet. It only took two days. Drawn on a chalkboard of an expensive liberal arts college in rural Pennsylvania, where the pretty young wasp voted the way daddy said she should. The swastika has come out of America's closet. How do we meet this level of hatred without becoming haters ourselves? Bin Laden's brethren can step back now and watch Americans turn against each other. The swastika has come out of America's closet. Inflammatory campaign speeches unleashed a firestorm, throwing a glaring light onto the underbelly of America, into the closets the rest of us thought were small. The swastika has come out of America's closet. Working class discontent put their fiscal trust in a businessman who has filed bankruptcy six times. Hmm, soon white supremacists will be among America's advisors. Yeah, he let the swastika out of our closet. An elitist offshore investment billionaire who may not have paid federal taxes in years will take a salary out of federal tax money collected primarily from working middle class citizens. The serpent devours its own tail. Only now, only now can we really finish the dream of Dr. King, for we cannot face an invisible foe. Let the swastika out and shed light into our closet's darkest corners before America becomes 1930s Germany. The swastika is out of America's closet. Now it's time for us to clean. Willkommen, bienvenue, hello. Il 
cabaret, oh cabaret du cabaret. Auf Wiedersehen.